Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video about the City Adventure 2 Gore-Tex boots. Not only are City's Adventure 2 Gore-Tex the most popular adventure boots on our site, they're amongst the most popular boots there, full stop. Since they replaced the original City Adventure Gore-Tex boots in 2017, and that was a really popular model in its own right, there have been just under 130 owner reviews of these boots on Sports Bike Shop. And the average score out of five is 4.88, which says a lot for these boots. For many adventure riders, these are the obvious choice to make because they offer such a good balance of off-road protection and road practicality. The upper on these boots is made from full grain microfiber. That's a synthetic leather that's designed to offer the benefits of genuine leather without suffering from its weaknesses. City claim it's just as tough, but that it's 30% lighter than leather and more resistant to aging and the effects of weather, like getting wet and overheating in the sunlight. The claims on toughness are backed up by the results in CE testing, as the Adventure 2 Gore-Tex boots are top rated in all categories. But I'll go into more detail on the CE protection when we get to the inside of the boot later in this video. That microfiber upper is protected by plenty of plastic with protection around the shins, around the heels, and also around the toes. And there's also a protector to stop the upper from being damaged by wear against the gear lever as you're changing gear on the bike. One of the big factors in the popularity of these boots is the bracing, which has echoes of City's motocross boots. This brace around the middle section stops harmful flex if you have a tumble, but it allows fore and aft flex, which is the kind you want for walking and the motions that you want while you're riding a bike, like changing gear and using the back brake. The sole is stiff and it's sturdy. It's also got a chunky tread, like a walking boot. So riders who want to head down green lanes will still be able to find some traction on those slippery surfaces when they need to be walking down there. The instep is quite pronounced. And when I tested this pair of boots on a Yamaha Tenere 700, I found that it made it comfortable to ride both stood up or seated. The fastening method on these boots is really popular with owners, many of whom say it's much easier to use than the zips that you get on regular touring boots. The clasps fasten by slotting this T section on the end of the slider into the clasp and then just levering it closed. These clasps are mounted with just one screw here, which City says allows these to flex a bit more than if you had two screws holding them in place. Whether that makes a big difference in its own right is impossible for me to say, but there's a lot of praise for the comfort of these boots from owners, so it's clear that City are getting something right. The two straps both allow fine tuning of the fit by sliding the tooth section back and forth inside the mounting. The bottom strap has 40 millimeters of range and the higher one has 70 millimeters of adjustment available to suit different sizes. One nice extra on these boots, the clasps here and also these two sliders are replaceable and you can buy brightly colored replacements from their motocross boot range and fit them to maybe liven up the sober color scheme a bit. You can also do the same with this brace, this central section here and the bit that comes around the front of the foot, they can also be replaced. And there's a white version or a gray version as well as the standard black. So again, there's an option there for a bit of customization. Once those clasps are open, undoing the Velcro band on top reveals a wide entry point. Getting the boots on and off is made easier by this substantial pull tab at the back and that sits on an elasticated section that gives even more flex and helps riders with chunkier calves just to accommodate that extra width. Moving to the inside, the waterproof membrane is Gore-Tex, which is pretty much the gold standard for dry feet, and complaints about the waterproofing quality on these boots are virtually non-existent in the customer reviews, and the breathability is praised too. One rider who left a review for these boots says he bought them for regular use in 35 degrees Celsius and says his feet are about the only part of him that doesn't end up sweaty after a ride. The insole is also replaceable. So if it wears thin over time, you can put a new one in and also City make a more supportive replacement insole if the standard one in there is a bit thin and doesn't suit you very well. The label on the inside shows those CE safety results I was talking about earlier. It's tucked away behind the sizing label, but City have no reason to hide the results. These boots are full height, 
level two approved boots and they also achieve the higher level two standard for resisting abrasions, for cuts and crushing forces acting on the sole. They also have the optional WR marking which shows they've been tested and passed that test to prove their resistance to water. With about 130 customer reviews for these boots, there's plenty of juicy information to pick through and bring out about the boots. First, the big thing that comes through is sizing. It's pretty common that riders find they want to go one size bigger than normal when they get these boots. That's not unusual in adventure boots in general, and city boots also tend to be a bit narrow in my experience. It seems it's the riders with wider feet who are most often the ones who need to go up a size in these boots. There's also quite a few riders, certainly not all, who say these boots need a bit of breaking in to make them comfortable, so that's something you might need to factor in if these are the boots that you're going for. And there's another theme that comes through, which is that there's a few riders who've benefited from adjusting the gear lever position on their bike. What that does is gives a bit more room for a chunky boot like this to fit underneath that lever. It's something that's a benefit on many adventure boots, not just these city boots. Having spent a bit of time both on-road and off-road in these boots, I can see why they're so popular. For me, one of the customer reviewers hit the nail on the head when he said that these boots are a good compromise between full off-road boots and touring boots. Protection, it's a level up from what you'd get from a usual touring boot, and the flexibility and the weather protection are definitely a step up from a motocross boot. I hope that tells you everything you wanted to know about the City Adventure 2 Gore-Tex boots, but if there's anything you'd like to ask or to add, then please pop your comment below. Thanks for watching.